this girl, she looks in the telescope and she um she looks at the moon and she sees this man in a house. Oh yeah, and then she and then puts she balloons. keeps on trying to like send she, messages. To she him. puts balloons on the uh, the present, yeah. which is the telescope, and then she looks at the he looks at the world and they see each other. John Lewis is not a charity. They are a company looking to make a profit. Despite the awareness they may raise for a good cause, companies like John Lewis often exploit sensitive subjects to create a positive image for themselves. Tear-jerking tales easily become viral and sales increase. This altruistic veil can therefore be misleading. From cradle to grave, we're exposed to hundreds of advertisements each day. We're being sold to everywhere we look and often targeted. Over time, we can be aware that marketers are targeting us but children lack the experience to understand this. Are children too vulnerable to be targeted? I'm eight. I'm nine. I'm ten. I'm nearly ten. <laughs> Two weeks to go. <laughs> Do you guys like minions? Yeah! Repetition. 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 Not only are children bombarded by brands, their catchy jingles and memorable marketing campaigns are difficult I have, to forget. I have, I have like some mini I have some I have a mini Banana. 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 You guys know better than anyone how to get kids excited. <laughs> Marketers favor giving the public what it wants, whether it's good or not for them. Sure, I'll sell you cigarettes. I'll sell you uh, anything that uh, will make money. In the early 2000s, smoking ads were banned due to their health risk. Yet processed food and drink, which have been highly linked to obesity, diabetes and heart disease, show no signs of disappearing from our media. Average child is now spending nearly eight hours a day in front of some kind of screen. Many of their opinions and preferences are being shaped by the marketing campaigns you all create. Toys, lots of toys, um, an Xbox. Um, Xbox One? Yeah. The Diary of the Wimpy Kid, um, whole collection of a movie. Mm, Haley's. Uh, iPhone 5. It's difficult for adults to ignore, let alone a young, impressionable child. The UK's Advertising Standards Authority claims to strictly regulate the advertisements children see and hear. And one of the greatest jobs of, of marketing in the, the universe has ever seen is Nike. Uh, I got mine off Nike because they're cool. Remember, Nike sells a commodity. They sell shoes. And yet, when you think of Nike, you feel something different than a shoe company. And their ads, as you know, they don't ever talk about the product. They don't ever tell you about their air soles and why they're better than Reebok's air soles. I got kick of Arsenal. Don't you said you didn't like football? Yeah, but I have a full collection of them. What does Nike do in their advertising? They, they honor great athletes and they honor great athletics. That's who they are. That's what they are about. Are these regulations enough? Non-stop color with this. I've got loads of makeup. <laughs> I've got a necklace that I wear all the time. Really nice dress and a really nice pair of shoes. I wanted to be a makeup artist when I'm older. I have the power, the power to make you beautiful, even breathtaking. I am the science of L'Oreal Paris. Why do you make a school of these things? Um, cover up my ugliness. <laughs> we only have so much guidance over what our children believe, and a lot of blame can be placed on the superficial idea of beauty deeply ingrained into our culture. I use my sister's makeup as well. So weekends because you're not allowed to school, but if it's a summer holiday... When I go out, I have to have every day. I have to at least spend 10 minutes or more doing my makeup. Spend like an hour doing it. On Sunday, right? I'll literally spend an hour and a half doing my makeup. I will spend at least an hour or more. 
You couldn't really live without putting makeup on. Ugly. I feel bad. I feel ugly and cold. <laughs> it just makes me feel happy and... Clearly this industry is playing its part in convincing children that without their products, they are ugly. Without their products, they are unhappy. With my iPad, I spend practically all day on it on the weekends. Most of the day, actually. Not all day, because sometimes I'm outside playing. Why do you still use your iPad? Yeah, but only for messaging my friends. I prefer to go outside Yay. and play with my friends, but I just get addicted to my iPad, so yeah. And I don't want to be one of the people that just like... If I smash Marketing is evolving with the internet age. Apple product placement is so subtle in films and TV shows that we as adults don't even realise we're being advertised to. It's become ingrained as a norm. Of course, everybody uses Apple. Apple spends a fortune on advertising. Our customers want to know who is Apple and what is it that we stand for. But Apple's about something more than that. Apple, at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. That's what we believe. Here's how Apple actually communicates. Everything we do, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed. The one that has a bigger screen, much better quality. And if you break it, it's, it's, and also it's not like plastic. Simple to use and user friendly. We just happen to make great computers. Want to buy one? As you'll see, you know that if they ever used the computer, it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> the phone's the best. I think it's really good. Yeah, but they're, they're, but they're good. They're good though. My, my mom had a Blackberry and I was I like, you really need to update your friendship. The theme of the campaign is, is think different. It's the people, honouring the people who think different and who move this world forward. And it's, it is what we are about. It touches the soul of this company. In fact, talking about it now, we can't even imagine buying an MP3 player from Dell. Why would you buy an MP3 player from a computer company? But we do it every day. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. We don't have to imagine how susceptible our children are to the influence of a trend. So is technology itself to blame? In the years that we've been coming to terms with having the internet as fundamental in our lives, there's in fact been no overall real long-term changes in any of the childhood troubles and difficulties that children encounter. No real changes. The internet is not the cause of human misery. People are. Break even. Break even. It's a flop. It's a flop. Although advertisements 40 years ago may seem ridiculous to us now, the principle is the same. Make a product appealing enough, and a child will want it. Marketing to children merely evolved with the times. What would happen if you didn't send messages and didn't go on YouTube? Then you know less about people. Less, less about other people. The children of today have access to any information they want. They are connected to the entire world through their fingertips. We cannot dismiss the increased opportunities they're blessed with. My favorite and most successful app is Bustin Jeeber, which is which is a Justin Bieber whack-a-mole. I created it because a lot of people at school disliked Justin Bieber a little bit. Technology is not going away. Despite whether it's to blame or not, we all want this generation to grow with a fighting chance of thinking for themselves. Who is the first marketer in the world? I hear Eve, the snake. I hate to admit it, because snakes sound, sounds like sneaky and so on and so forth. But the fact is that it was a snake who, can, who sold Eve on getting Adam to eat an apple. It's quite a sad advert, wasn't it? Yeah. Why do you think they did that? Because it kind of it takes people's eye, so it makes them interested. I've never seen something like that before. Today's children may not be as gullible as we think, 
yet we cannot deny they are being unfairly influenced and manipulated by marketing tactics which continue to evolve. Ban marketing towards children.